Hi guys, this is Jason Zak from Nathaniel School of Music. So here's a question which almost every student I've taught has asked me at some point in their learning journey. What is the difference between a scale and a key? We are in the key or we are in the scale. And then we use these words interchangeably and we think we are right, but then we probably are not. And then what more fancier students will start asking me is then what is the difference between a mode and a scale? What is the difference between a mode and a key? And then some Indian trained musicians will look at all of this data and then ask me, sir or Jason or whatever they want to call me, uh, what is the difference between a raga and a scale or a raga and a key and whatnot. So I'm going to try my best to answer all this. I'm not a qualified Indian trained musician, so I will do my best. But stick around for the lecture. Hopefully some of these tips and some of these pieces of advice or these theory concepts which are which need to be very strong in your vocabulary will help you communicate music better with your fellow musicians and also will enable you hopefully to be inspired by these four unique terms or terminologies scales, keys, modes and ragas so hopefully you can use each of them and give them the respect they all the four things deserve so before we get cracking, it'll be awesome if you could consider heading over to our Patreon channel and downloading the handwritten notes for this lesson and many more in the past and the future that would also support our channel and help us go a great way forward. You can also see that subscribe button and the bell button somewhere next to this video, wherever it is, find it and all it takes is a simple click subscribe. Please do it right now. That'll be awesome. And give the video a like and leave us a comment at the end of the lesson with stuff you'd want to learn in the future and we will definitely consider that for you on our channel. Right, so first let's get cracking with scale versus key. What is a scale? What is a key? So I'll, I'll kind of explain both of them together and you'll understand. So if you take the set of notes available to us in music, there are 12. In fact, we call all of the 12 as the chromatic scale, a set of pretty much all the available uh, calibrated notes, at least on the piano and most instruments and most uh, way, uh, genres or styles of music creation have 12 notes, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then the respective sharps also known as flats. Now, those notes don't sound very organized and may be very confusing if you were to use all of them together in a composition. You don't have a an order, you don't have a leader, you don't have a sense of what is more tense than the other or what is stable. Music always relies on stability and tension. So what happens is you need to figure out a way to not jumble these, these notes so much, to have some better order. And the easiest way to do that is to not have 12 in the first place, to have lesser than 12. So that is where a scale comes into play. A scale will do two things. A scale will reduce the burden of you having to hear so many notes, which is all these 12, to you hearing lesser than 12. It will also assign a leader of that pack. So 12 will become lesser than 12. What could lesser be? Now lesser could end up more commonly being 7. So instead of playing the whole scale, which is the chromatic scale, you have 7 notes, which can end up being maybe this sort of a sound. Maybe this sound. If you think about this, I'm just playing the chromatic scale and not playing a few notes. So it's going to be 12 minus 5. So 5 notes will be removed or ruled out and the remaining um, is 7. So 7 note scales are very common in music. So how are these scales built? They will assign a leader or what we also call as the key. So that is the other word. So I am in the key of C. But that doesn't mean I'm in the C major scale. I'm not in a major scale. I'm not in a minor scale. I'm not in a Phrygian. I'm not in some 
you know indian scale i am in the key of c so from c i can build many scales so i can do c major that's the key of c i can build c minor i'm in the key of c still i can build c lydian i'm still in the key of c now if you say your key signature now key signature is a different concept that is more what we read in sheet music so a key signature will be either major scale or minor scale that's pretty much it so a key signature is used to either notate the major or its relative minor or minor or its relative major so you have that chart i'm sure some of you know the circle of fifths we've done a lot of circle of fifths videos you could probably watch a few of those we'll put uh, at least one or two in the description wherein you'll have the scale all the notes written in a circle and then each of those will be scales and uh, assigned a key signature so the key signature is a visual way of telling oneself that i am in the key of c major or i am in the key of a minor a minor and c major are relatives of each other so the key signature you look at it visually and you're like oh there are two flats what are the what is the only scale which has two flats where there well there are only two b flat major and its relative minor g minor so looking at a key signature gives you a universal proof that you are on that scale but that will only happen when you're sheet reading or sight reading notation what if you're in the real world or what if you're collaborating with maybe more eastern musicians who don't rely a lot on staff notation from the west which it where it mostly has originated from so that is where we have the true definition of a scale and a key so a scale and a key go hand in hand so i need a key so i will pick key as c and i told you earlier that a scale will be a subset if you will of the 12 notes so if you have all your 12 a scale will ideally not have all 12 then it will be usable and each scale needs a leader it needs a ring leader that's the chairman or the ceo of the company that will be whatever you assign it in this case c so with respect to c now that you formed subset notes lesser notes now that you've got only those seven in this c major case you don't have the black notes you just have the white notes how do you perceive this what is this doing to the brain while we listen to this stuff right whenever you are planted in the key of c what tends to happen is you're rooted here so every decision you make is ideally based from this point from the c your ear if it hears let's say a b it's with respect to c so actually speaking b is a very tense note in this world in another world b major b is a not so tense note it's a very pleasant resolved note but in the key of c or in the key of c major b is a very very tense note it's like where do i go next i want to go next somewhere else i uh, but here which is there so some notes of a scale like the seventh resolve some notes like the fourth resolve to another note maga that's a four going to three so all of this happens because of the root the root gives you that purpose the root decides the energy state of each note and the root forms the intervals because intervals will all be with yes with respect to all the notes of the scale especially when you're forming chords but at the ground level you need a root so in this case c So if you just compare you have C D with respect to C C E with respect to C C F with respect to C C G with respect to C now if you comp- compare those five it's a bit unstable if you ask me that is home that is very stable 
uh, that's a bit unstable. It's like, where do I go next? It's also quite stable. In fact, wherever I play it, see, it's very stable. Then if you journey forward, now this is like a mystery. It's neither there nor there, but it's all with respect to the C. That's a tension. And that's an octave. So the octave is the same. So it's going to be like a plain slate back to home back to your bed so to speak and that's the impact of the key so the key is part of the scale so if you are on a major scale the scale is called major the scale is not the key but you can if if you d tell someone that i am playing on c major that is i think a very accurate thing to say because the first letter c is the key and major is the name of the scale so now using that analogy you can then say i am in the key of c minor which has a different uh, collation of intervals now i look at a scale like that a scale is a set of intervals it's a pack of notes which are all working for the goal of the song you're trying to make so if you're on the major It's a very kind of this is the very this is the mood you're going to get it's a very resolved very stable very positive sound in general especially when i don't play too many chords but if i take it to the minor the very nature of these intervals with respect to the same root or the same key c makes it more melancholic more painful more like a sorrow but the key is still c the scale is not c though the scale is c minor in this case c natural minor we have a lot of words for it we also call it the aeolian scale or the mode aeolian and if you decide let's say you don't want that b flat you want a b instead and there are a lot of systems in all parts of the world even in india we have a great system the raga system especially when you form the mela karta ragas which are the primary ragas in music you form them just using maths permutations you say the second or the re would be only those options the ga will be only those options you don't move around but you have lot of permutations of those ragas so just off the top if you see c major it's all these white notes now you tell yourself hey i don't want the e what can i replace e, e with maybe e flat i don't want d also so d flat quite like that i don't want e anymore like that then you get a completely different vibe feels like very uh, spanish or arabic uh, in that vibe or in that kind of space so to speak but is this still the key of c yes i'm still in the key of c so you i hope you see the difference now between a scale and a key a scale is an assortment of intervals which have a key which have a root or which have a a ceo or a leader of the pack so to speak now you have endless scales you have a lot of scales you have thousands in india as we learn uh, you have quite a few in the west you have jazz scales you have classical scales you have well rock scales as well but how many keys are there in life you just have 12 keys it's pretty much it so there will be 12 keys and like a lot of scales so as you learn music you have to learn playing them on different keys and you have to learn different scales on different keys hope that made sense let's now move forward to the next level of these questions now we have a scale we have a key what about mode and raga let me try and address the mode concept a bit more so you have 
two ways of looking at a mode one, or using a mode in a song one is you can use it relatively the other way is you can use it parallelly okay so if you take the key of c c major see now i am getting it wrong so if you take the key of c doesn't make much sense you have to say if you take the key of c major which is it gives you this vibe now what if this is now a set of 7 it's a it's a data set of 7 it's a pack of 7 now the ceo of the company decides no i don't want to be the leader i'll be a normal employee and someone else takes over let's say the new ceo is a a decides to take over so c has left the role of being the ring the main leader and now a becomes the new leader of the pack so a has a different vision for the company a has a different perspective and that is the that's what i call as a mode concept or a relative mode idea relative mode idea means you take the same set of notes so the notes will be the same it's all the white notes but new leader in other, and what does a new leader mean new key new key has kind of also changed the scale and we don't call it a change of scale we just say we are in a mode of c major so what that means is we are still in the c major notes trying to not drift too much from the scale concept but somewhere in the middle of the song let's say you're starting your verse and you do you're very rooted on c then in the next section now a lot of people may have different opinions people may think hey this guy changed the scale well in theory i did i went to a minor but i'm still in the sa- using the same uh, members i'm still using the same data set the same set of 7 and that is how modes are generally taught you use it in different parts of the song and sometimes you'll have different modes for different chords so when chords come into the party you have different ideas so here's where i will take a step back from this lecture and guide you after you finish watching this in the description we will have for you a, a good number of lessons on modes and also intervals so do check them out in the description a lot of our youtube videos are there we've been doing videos now for a while so you will find a lecture specifically on the chapter of mode so do consider checking it out and if you want to learn some of the basics they are all waiting for you on our website nathanielschool.com where on our members only portal you will have all this stuff covered in a sequential step by step from ground zero manner so do consider heading over to nathanielschool.com where you'll find me again as your teacher in a more structured environment So coming back to mode so i hope you felt that tidal shift that that polar opposite shift when c as the leader gave way to a as the leader so c major doesn't sound very happy anymore i'm starting it from c just like we do why because that leader a is referencing all of its subjects as different intervals so a with respect to c is a minor third a with respect to f is a minor sixth you have that g which is a minor seventh and then at some point you can go back to c major you have different vibes all through your song because a song is a dynamic art form it's not static you're not staring at it and saying hey i just saw that no it's more like a movie for the years you're looking at it over time so that's how you think of a mode now there are seven modes by that argument for any scale if you take c major in other words seven possible ceos or seven possible leaders of the pack so to speak what if d became your leader what does d have to say about life in general all 
Still white not still same members but what is D trying to tell uh, tell tell us D is telling us a story where something brave is happening Dorian if you're on E something very mystical mysterious I also call it as an exotic scale frigid then if you take F as your new leader very bright sound it's like looking at the sun on a beach or something it's a very dreamy sound then you take g completely different vibe very sort of like community vibe like we are all part of the same family joining together to do something cool and then a i have already showed you a aeolian or a minor g mixolydian by the way that was a 5 and the most tense of them all the b locrian the 7th degree you have modes of different scales also so modes kind of comes after you know scales and we look at modes in this way relatively but you could also look at modes as parallel scales so what i mean by that is you could be on the c major scale and borrow another scale maybe go to the that b flat note a lot of people have done it and then from the major beatles go to that na 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 part hey ju na 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 ho you could do things like back to major so you're just drifting a little bit going sort of to your friend's house chilling out there and coming back or somewhere out of the neighborhood or somewhere not known to you you know but you're still in the same key because you know the route to come back home you're still in the key of c so you have the parallel mode options you have the relative mode concepts and yeah so we've so far covered scale key and mode and the last thing even though i'm not so qualified as an indian classical trainer to teach this is a raga but what i will say without too much of demonstrations is a raga has a lot more properties than what a scale or a key or even a mode has to offer first off a raga will have directional properties so c major will not you may go ascending in c major but when you come down you may come down in a completely di di different direction you may go up in one way with one assortment of notes you may come down in another way so they have different directional properties where each direction not only determines the number of notes you play it also determines the notes like which notes in that data set but they will all come from maybe a bigger raga a bigger palette of data and then you play around with that so that will be a raga or maybe a janya raga a subset scale i've done a video on subset scales which is my interpretation of how indian scales are built do check it out in the description it's called subset scales
And another thing which the raga will have will be the glides or the gamakas or in between the notes you have these microtones which musicians will deliver and the great singers the great musicians which is why a lot of the great eastern instruments have a huge amount of bend unlike a piano you can't really bend between c and d flat or c and d but an indian trained musician will glide will do all sorts of roundabout routes to kind of reach the next note but they'll still be in that uh, geography of the raga or the rule set or the permutations or the the logic of that particular uh, raga it's not random and it's very much prepared by the student with a lot of hours of practice Right guys so that was an introduction to what a scale is the definition of what a key is what is a raga what is a mode what is a parallel concept what is a relative concept we also touched a bit on key signature so uh, if you have any further questions regarding the video do consider leaving a comment and uh, we will try and get back to you if you want a more structured approach where all these concepts would be covered do consider visiting our website nathanielschool.com where you could opt for these video courses which are there waiting on the platform or you could reach out to one of our course advisors and do a regular semester at the school thanks again for watching the video see you in the next one cheers